What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a unedited video that I'm going to put on the channel because I have an opinion that I'd like to talk about when it comes to the popular well-known thing known as cancel culture. Now, I'm going to be straight up. Cancel culture fucking sucks. It's stupid as shit. Because that's when people will look into the past, bring up something that happened years ago, and then cancel somebody so hard for it that they'd be afraid to showcase their face to the internet. When in reality, everybody in their lives has done something stupid or morally wrong. And if you say you've never done anything wrong, I'm going to be straight up with you. You're full of shit. Everybody has done something wrong. Everybody has done something they can be canceled for. But what is canceling them going to do? Yes, getting awareness out for negative things such as pedophilia, rapists, uh, groomers, that kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong, we need to talk about that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff, I agree, we need to get that stuff off of the internet. Stuff like racism, not cool. Uh, grooming children, that's fucked up and wrong. Uh, a bunch of stuff like that. That needs to go. I'm not going to lie to you. But canceling people because they have an opinion, because they were being themselves, because they said a specific word. For example, I'm autistic. I have, um, I have Asperger syndrome and ADHD, and I use the term retard a lot. And I have people that say, oh, you got to be careful saying that word on the internet. People are going to come at you and destroy you with cancel culture because you said that word. When in reality, it's just a word. Like, I heard people constantly tell me that using the phrase retarded is offensive to people that have disabilities. First off, I could give a shit less if somebody called me retarded. I don't care. I don't let that shit get to me. And second of all, it's just a word. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're calling someone, let's say you're not of a certain sexuality... Uh, homosexual, bisexual, etc. And let's say you're straight and you're being homophobic by calling someone a faggot. That's not cool. It's not nice. That That's just the point of that. It's not nice to call somebody a faggot. I'm bisexual. And I'm not saying the word faggot just to say it. I may occasionally have the slip-up of saying words like that, but I never use it against an actual person of a certain sexuality because that's fucked up if I'm playing a video game and I get angry I may accidentally slip the word what a fag or something like that and I never say that in online games like Apex Legends, Fortnite, uh, Super Mecha Champions I've never ever called somebody a faggot uh, if you go back on my channel and look at my Resident Evil Revelations playthrough I believe in the episode before last, I accidentally said the word fag, but it was like a one-time thing on the channel. But let me guess, because I made the slip-up, some random people may come across my channel in the future and cancel me for saying that, when it wasn't directed at a person, just because it can be looked at as offensive. It's a word. And I don't condone anyone call people those words, but you're going to cancel people for saying a word. I seen an article on Twitter, and I, don't get me wrong, I do not consider myself a part of the Friday Night Funkin' fandom, but they were canceling the Tricky Mod for using the middle finger. The middle finger, this finger here. They were going to cancel that because they used that finger in the mod. That's stupid. Because there's so many popular YouTubers that play games and say things like fuck you and showcase the middle finger and they get away with it. Yet a stupid mod for a video game is cancel worthy because of the introduction to the middle finger. Doesn't that sound borderline stupid? If it doesn't to you, I hate to say it, but you're part of the problem. I also think cancel culture comes from people who are way too sensitive. Me, personally, I'm not sensitive. You can literally 
make jokes about me in an offensive way. You can say anything that has to do with dark humor. You can do this, you can do that. The majority of the time, I will not care. Although, if you're a pedophile, if you're a rapist, if you're a murderer, <laughs> that shit ain't gonna fly. But, it, like, when it comes to words, when it comes to jokes, and it comes to all these kinds of things, and people get cancelled for it, I find it stupid. Now, of course, there's going to be people who disagree with me. And that's fine. I could care less. We all have the right to have an opinion. If anything, I respect everyone's opinion, but I don't care enough to let those opinions bother me. You know what I'm saying? So the truth is about cancel culture, unless it's based upon a very specific thing that's literally wrong, like things that um, Onision have done, that's fucked up. That I don't like. I don't like Onision. He's a terrible human being. Things Shane Dawson did, that's fucked up. I don't agree with that. Like, blackface, that's that's racism. I'm not even going to lie. You can say, oh, it's just a joke. It doesn't matter. It's still painting your face the color of an opposite race as a joke. It's not funny. Blackface isn't funny. It's not. It really isn't. And if you disagree with me, I mean, you have your dark humor preferences, sure. Am I going to judge you for that? No. But if you actually push yourself to doing blackface just to make someone laugh, that's sad. That That's really sad. So no. When it comes to a lot of things like racism, grooming, rape, etc., yes, I believe those things should be called out on. I believe the people responsible for things like that should get in trouble. I'm not even going to lie to you. But when it comes to a lot of stupid things, like for example, Scott uh, Cawthon, I think his name was, or whatever his name was, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, Twitter went on a rampage and tried to cancel him because he supported Donald Trump. Really? Are you fucking serious? Really? Now, here's the thing. I'm personally not a Trump supporter. I also don't support Biden. I normally hate politics. I'll put that out right there. And yes, maybe the people that are in the office, like Biden, Trump, etc., have done some very shitty things. And with everyone that goes into the White House, that's going to continue. It's just the truth. But if you vote for someone, it doesn't mean you're going to exactly be like that. I hear people say, oh, if you vote for Trump, you're racist, sexist, homophobic. No. I actually have a lot of friends that do support Trump that accept me for being bisexual. Very friendly. They have black friends and are very respectful towards black people. And yes, it doesn't just have to be black people. Uh, it can be Mexicans, it can be, well, Mexicans, I'm not going to try to pronounce it right. Uh, it could be Asians, it could be literally anybody of another culture or race. They have respect for those people. So, the bottom of the line is, cancel culture is stupid. Okay? And this video can get its dislikes, it can get its likes, this and that, blah, 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 you know? I'm putting my opinion out there. I'm not scared to talk about it. I'm not afraid. If anybody has a negative opinion on me, I could care less. If anyone has a positive opinion on me, I do care. But not in a way that it's going to bother me. It's going to be the same way for people that have negative opinions on me. Yes, I could care less in a negative way. But in a positive way, I respect all feedback. Negative or positive. Anyway, this is a video that I've been wanting to make talking about cancel culture. And how fucking stupid it is. How sensitive people are. You know? Like, I, I just think cancel culture is borderline retarded. This video is going to be completely unedited. Uploaded the way it is. Nothing further. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Love y'all. Peace.